Welcome to 2 plus 0 dash cooking and we are making mushroom tamagoyaki bruschetta today. If you've never made bruschetta with mushroom, miso, and sake before, then stick around. Hello, my name is Beef and if this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. I make small tasty recipes for me and my plus one out of our tiny apartment kitchen. Our recipes are small, easy on the budget, and easily scalable for more servings. So let's make this mushroom tomogoyaki bruschetta. So these are the items that you're going to need to make mushroom tomogoyaki bruschetta. I have low sodium soy sauce, miso paste that we use in our wafu salad in the previous video. We have French bread. This is just basic French loaf bread. If you have a baguette that would be great. We have pickled portobello mushrooms that we also featured in our pickling video. We have sake. Now if you don't have sake you can use white wine, sweet white wine. We have olive oil for our bruschetta, granulated sugar, and we have garlic powder, one egg, we have salt and pepper on the side, we have two sprigs of green onion, and we have two cloves of garlic. Tamogoyaki is a Japanese omelet, and, but we are going to make it as an appetizer, something that you can hold. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up this garlic as well as the green onion. We have one tablespoon, one level tablespoon of garlic and probably two tablespoons of chopped green onion. This is going to be two little appetizers for me and my plus one. And I'm just going to go ahead and put all that garlic on here. And what I'm trying to do is just like get all the oils off of the garlic onto the bread. And I could already see that it's, the bread moistened up. Now we're going to go ahead and take that garlic off. Put about a teaspoon of olive oil on it and just spread it around. What I do not want to do is toast it up and then try to cut it. So what we're going to do here is I am going to go ahead and cut it up now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and toast it up in the air cooker. And then I'm just going to let it sit in there. And that way the moisture can evaporate and I can get that crunch that I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and prep up this tamagoyaki. I'm going to start off by using uh, the miso paste. I am going to grab about about a quarter of a, tea, a teaspoon. It's almost like peanut butter. And what I do is I just like cream it around on the inside of the bowl. And the sugar is going to be about, I'm going to go with about a half a tablespoon. Kind of grind that all in there. Next thing I'm going to add is the soy sauce. It's going to be a quarter teaspoon, probably. I am going to go ahead and put just a quarter teaspoon of sesame oil. And then we're going to go ahead and add the egg. I went ahead and took one egg and scrambled it up. Just going to go ahead and put that in there. Next thing we're going to do is add some sake. What you're going to need is about two teaspoons. That's what I'm thinking. The last time I used three, the sake was a little bit strong, which was good because, you know, you want that sake flavor in there. So I have a, a shot glass here. I'm going to grab there's one teaspoon, two teaspoon. That's more than enough for what we're trying to do. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour this back into the bottle. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's say hello to the Thursday. Mmm. Sake's good. So we got this going. What I'm going to go ahead and do next is heat up the stove and then we'll see you back at the stove. I'm going to go ahead and toast it up in there. There's no oil, no nothing. Just putting the garlic in there. Let that toast up. 
And then we're going to let that uh, do its thing. I'm going to stir it around in a little bit. I just want it to crisp up. For those of you that have never been here before, this kitchen or this cooking area, I tinfoiled it up because it was very difficult to clean. And I cleaned it so often that a lot of times, you know, the paint off the, uh, the lettering paint that was on the stove was peeling off because I was cleaning it so often. And you have to clean your walls and we don't have a backsplash. So I was actually cleaning the paint off the walls, which was not good. So after a while, I just went ahead and just tinfoiled it up. It makes it so much easier to clean. If it gets really bad, I just tear down the tinfoil and put new tinfoil up. And all I do is I use a painter's tape to hold it up and it's great. Everything comes clean real easy. So we're toasting this garlic up. And as you can see, it's already browning well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spray this with Pam. And then put the tomoyaki in there and go ahead and start cooking it up. Uh, for some of you, what, what I do, what, I'm going to use Pam spray. I put a paper towel around it and then, you know, put a rubber band on it. Because it's nothing worse than grabbing a bottle of Pam Spray and having the oil dripping down it and all of a sudden it's all over your hands. Spray this up and you want to use a lot. That Tomogiyaki has a lot of sugar in it. So it will... If you can keep it in solid pieces, that would be great. Let's take a little piece of this end here and see how. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Let's see how it looks. Oh, yeah. That looks good. And go ahead and plate this up. Heats off, and then I'll see you guys back at the counter. What makes bruschetta great is when you put the olive oil or butter, or if you're using bacon fat, and you toast it up, the oil from the fat or from the olive oil or from the butter, what it does is it creates a protective layer on top of the bruschetta. If you would have taken this same piece of French toast, toasted it up, and then put a sauce on top of it, within five minutes, this piece of toast would be soggy. And what makes bruschetta great is that you can put salsa, all kinds of things on it, set it on a plate, and it could sit there for a long time. And when people grab into it, it's still crunchy. And that's why when we were uh, cooking up this tomogoyaki, I wanted to try and keep it into a solid piece as opposed to scrambling it. That way it would hold together. I put some portobello mushrooms in here and I continually came in and tried to drain out as much as the fluid as possible. Probably did it like five times during the cooking process. Just keep it in a bowl. That's looking good. So put the Yeah I'm I'm, I'm making a snack for us. It'll be done in a little bit. And then we go ahead and put the portobello mushroom on top. That's great. Yeah, the, the snack will be ready in a little while. Give me about 10 minutes and it'll be ready. He went to the dollar store the other day 
And we found these for a dollar fifty. Imagine if you put that there, like if you have a guest, and you set it up like that. Isn't that beautiful? So there you have it, our mushroom tokomoyaki bruschetta. This is awesome. You need to try this. And I am going to try it right now, see how it tastes. With that portobello mushroom, it really carries everything. And you could taste that sake in there with the sesame and everything. It's kind of like adding another note. Saki's nice. Let's put that with this. Oh yeah, that's really good. Boy, this is tasty. What? Huh? Yeah, I'm working on, well, we're going to have a snack. I'm making PP pee and J. Is that okay? This is good. You need to make this mushroom togomayaki bruschetta. If you don't, well, it sucks for you. <laughs> it's great for us for a Thursday. That, well, great for me. <laughs> I'll be right on that PB and J. I'll be, it'll be done in just a little bit. You want it toasted? Okay, I'll toast it for you. Adios, amigos. Thank you so much for watching this video on making mushroom tomogoyaki bruschetta. If you like this video, then please like us below. There are also links on this screen for other 2 plus 0 dash cooking recipes. Remember to subscribe and you'll be notified new videos every week. As always, I have a summary of this recipe below in the description. And also please visit our website, 2 plus 0 dash cooking.com. If you have any comments or ideas, then please post them below. We love hearing from our viewers and answering their questions. We also invite our viewers to share their ideas or recipes with each other in the comment section. Thank you for watching, looking forward to hearing from you, and see you soon. Be found. As always, just because I'm done cooking after this recipe doesn't mean our kitchen is closed. The following are images for a future meal for me and my plus one. Enjoy.